Hello everybody, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have your drinks with you. And um, tonight we are reviewing a, an interesting one, a special one. It's a 200 year anniversary of Johnny Walker. And it's called John Walker and Sons Celebratory Blend. It comes in this nice white box. Has this uh, little writing there has a little bit of story there it just tells about um, well, how John Walker started and it says this blend is inspired by one of these breakthrough moments of the old Highland whiskey when John Walker first started selling his whiskey now it is 51% ABV so that's very exciting uh, you don't get to see that in John Walker's and um, has a nice box as well, I'll show you. It opens up like this, there you go, without dropping the bottle. It opens up like this, and in here, sorry, yeah, as you can see in there, you can read the John Walker sign there. That's his first store, that's where this brand started. So John Walker was a merchant and he was selling all sorts of things including tea and he was doing a lot of uh, blending with tea and that's how he started doing blending whiskey uh, at that time most of the whiskey blenders were blending malt whiskey and uh, they were a bit too rough for people for their palates uh, they were not as refined as you and I right now as you see um, all joking aside they didn't enjoy it that much so when the law was passed, Johnny Walk, well, John Walker started uh, blending grain whiskies into the malt, and that's when it really took off. So this is an homage to those times where it actually uh, first started. So this is the bottle, uh, this is the box, it comes in, and this is the bottle. It's all reminiscent of the old times. It has the red cap, and it's a, it's a cap, it's a normal cap. And uh, it says John Walker and Sons Celebratory Blend. As you can see, it's not Johnny Walker yet. And it says inspired by our original Old Highland Whiskey. So back in that day, it was John Walker and Sons. It wasn't Johnny Walker. And as you can see also on the bottle, there is no Striding Man. Because uh, it wasn't introduced until later on. Uh, but the square-shaped bottle and uh, it's all... It's all an homage to its original, its origins, basically. And it says, a rich and complex whiskey with notes of sweet, dried fruits, gentle spice, soft pepper finish. So it's just, it has a cool story. It has a great ABV. And uh, it just looks good with the, with the box and the, you know, the display. I don't know. It's, uh, I can't seem to be doing this. Yeah, there you go, as you can maybe like to see it better. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, so this is it. Um, I poured it beforehand because it needs some time. Uh, it is 51% uh, ABV and uh, it's a bit of a strong whiskey. I think it needs some time, so pour yours, leave it about 5-10 minutes, whatever your preference is. And play around with water. Uh, I have done this before. I played around with water and it's just fun. When you get high percent uh, whiskies, uh, just put some water, taste it, see what notes come up. Maybe you'll like some, you won't like some. And uh, put some more water, just dilute it and play around with it. But uh, I think, this is my personal opinion, uh, I like to start with just drinking neat in the beginning to see actually what the alcohol brings because uh, I didn't know this, but alcohol, more alcohol, brings more flavors. I, I would have thought that would be uh, counterintuitive, but I know that's how whiskey works, and we're happy with it. So, yes, um, let's start this. Let's see. Let's see what this 51% ABV Johnny Walker is. Uh, oh, and the, the 51 is 51, because uh, apparently that's how it was back in the day. So this is all everything in homage to the original John Walker and Sons Old Highland Blend. Old Highland Malt. Old Highland Whiskey. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. So it's very floral. There's smoke there. 
Uh, it's not it's not a peat forward whiskey, but there's smoke there. Um, it's a bit fresh. It's a bit uh, it's a bit bright. Uh, you can you can smell the alcohol. I'll tell you that. The Johnny Walker characters are there. It's very um, herbaceous, nutty. There's apple. Honey, honey is there. Now we don't know anything about the cask. We don't know anything about the age. We we just don't know anything about this uh, apart from the ABV and the cool story. Hmm. Yeah, uh, malty cereal grain notes are very apparent in there. Like I said, give it some time. Let it let it breed. More stuff will come out. So let's go on to the palate. That is surprisingly good. It's so mouth coating. It's everywhere. Um, not in a bad way. I can feel like grains around it, grains of flavor just attaching itself. And it's slowly coming down. It's mouth watering. Very tasty. Um, quite malty. Honey notes are there. Cereal notes are there. Nutty. Oh, the aftertaste is aftertaste is n nutty, floral, fresh, and fruity, covered in honey. Um, it's long; has a long finish. The ABV is definitely happy with that mouth coating feel. Um, uh, it's it's very interesting. It's very grassy now to the nose. It's very grassy. You don't feel the uh, ABV on the on the on the palate. You do feel it on the nose. It just hits you that 51, but on the palate it doesn't. But play around with some water. It's a very uh, very nice whiskey. It has some character to it. It has some depth. Hmm. Oh, very perfume as well. It just comes up the back end. No cereal and grain notes. Sprayed with some. Um, is that sea salt? That's sea salt. Yeah. Interestingly, the sea salt and the peat is. Um, you can feel it in the back end. It's just in the back of my throat now. And when I say peat and sea salt, don't think anything uh, like Talisker or, you know. Ardbeg yeah, or Lafroy, it's not that peaty, but it is there. Now, it is a whiskey to play around with, like I said, so it's not just, um, oh yeah, I'll just drink it all night long. Well, you can, obviously, but I bet it will hold on to, hold on to um, uh, nice ice and uh, it, you could drink it chilled uh, because of the ABV, I think it would be fine. But play around with it, uh, spend some time with it, spend some time reading the bottle, reading the box, just looking at it. I actually keep it um, right there uh, with the uh, box open. You might have seen it from my previous videos. I think it just looks good. And you know what? It's actually a very, very good whiskey. 51% we, we go on and on and on about high ABV, but it makes a difference. It does carry the flavors there. Even if it's not an amazingly complex whiskey, it does help. You know, anything above 46 is the, is the you know, our red line. It really needs to be above 46. That's what we always say, but it does make a difference. There's a reason for it. Very, very fresh. Very fruity, very floral, very herbaceous. But at the same time, very malty, very, very grainy and um, mouth coating. Oh, caramel notes now came. Uh, you know those salted caramels? Chew them, uh, but don't swallow them, and it just gets a little bit, um, a little part. Particles happen around your mouth. 
That's what I'm having right now. Oh, and it's a long finish. This is really nice. Go get it if you can find it. Uh, I don't know how much it is at your wherever you are, uh, where I'm right now, it's actually quite affordable for a 51% uh, ABV whiskey. Um, and, you know, I don't know if it will be a collector's item. They probably made a lot of it. Uh, I keep seeing it everywhere. And uh, the 200 year anniversary was last year. So, um, even maybe a year before. No, last year, 2020. So, uh, and it's gonna be 2020 too soon. Um, so yeah, just get it, enjoy it. If you like Johnny Walkers, I think you'll find the flavors there. But this is an amped up version. I actually really, really like it. So guys, thank you for joining me. I don't know if you had this one before. Tell me what you think uh, about the taste, about the presentation. Is Johnny Walker uh, nailed it, or is it just a gimmicky and uh, you know nothing serious whiskey? So let me know what you think and uh, press that like button if you enjoyed my review and if you haven't already please subscribe it does make a big difference to me um i'll see you at the next review to your health slanger